International Criminal Court Chief Prosecutor Fatou Bensouda is expected to arrive in the country tonight as the court seeks to safeguard cooperation with Kenya ahead of the commencement of the cases against four Kenyans, which kick off in April. Now, Ben Suda is expected to on Tuesday meet President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga. The agenda is likely to be to the progress the country has made in judicial reforms, witness protection and security before and after the general election. Ben Suda is also set to meet Chief Justice Willy Mutunga, members of the Cabinet Subcommittee on the ICC Matters and National Security Intelligence Service Director General Michael Gishangi. Ben Suda's visit, oh, sorry, on Thursday and Friday, she is also expected to tour Naivasha, Nakuru and Eldoret, which were the areas worst hit by the post-election violence of 2008. No doubt many will be listening keenly to her utterances on Kenya as the general election approaches, bearing in mind the expected presidential candidacy of Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta and Eldoret North MP William Ruto, who are, of course, awaiting trial in that case that she is prosecuting. Well, Ben Suda's visit comes as political campaigns heat up ahead of the March general election and hot on the heels of a visit by former United Nations boss Kofi Annan. Well, ahead of her visit, Attorney General Gedo Mwigai criticized her predecessor, Luis Moreno Campo, saying that he was unprofessional and used the Kenyan cases to advance his career. Mwigai made the remarks in Germany even as he rooted for the expansion of the jurisdiction of the African Court of Justice and said the four Kenyan suspects have a right to the postponement of the trial dates. He did, however, note that the relationship between the government and the court have improved after Fatou Ben Souda took over as the new prosecutor. And it is, of course, this cooperation between Kenya and the ICC, which remains a sticky issue as politicians reignite the clamor for a local tribunal, no doubt wary of the impact that the ICC will have 